life in trenches. Bernstein, Bernstein. All right. Well, welcome to another episode of Life in Trenches. Uh, I had my mind blown a little bit this last couple of weeks, and I think maybe it was somewhat in response to uh, finishing Stranger Things on Netflix and the idea of alternate universes being something that was kind of in my in my stream of conscious. But I recently stumbled across a, a post on the internet that was talking about a book series that I recall uh, from from my you know my elementary school age years in the 80s uh, the Berenstein Bears and I read a lot of the books if you want to know any background on me you'll know that there's one thing that I'm really particular about and that is spelling and I, I assume that I got that way because of having read a lot of books when I was a kid but I read Every one of those books, we get this, this you know, uh, order sheet for the book club or whatever in school, and you'd order however many books. And the ones that I would always order in a certain age bracket was the Berenstein Bears. So I stumbled across a theory, uh, a posting that caught my eye that said something about the Berenstein Bears problem and the spelling of the Berenstein Bears. Uh, it was B E R E N S T, and then there was a hash mark in place of the ne that next letter, and then it finished with I-N, bears. So obviously there was some kind of an issue with the spelling of it, which made me think I probably should check this out. So I go and check it out, and there's a bunch of, of, of articles that are written that talk about uh, people's remembrance of this series, mm -hmm. and that the spelling, a lot of people said it was spelled B-E-R-E-N-S-T-E-I-N, and that's how I recall it being spelled. But uh, if you go and find the books series uh, or the VHS tapes or whatever you had back when you were a kid, you'll find that it was spelled B-E-R-E-N-S-T-A-I-N. -E and as somebody who was a stickler on spelling, I was like, no, I would have bet my life on it. Like, no, there's no way. It was not spelled with an A-I-N. It was spelled with an E-I-N. I pronounced it that way. Uh, I, I remember the, the script that it was written in on the books being with an E-I-N, and so I started looking into this more, and there's apparently a whole slew of people who remember it as I do, um, and of course then with this either false remembrance or um, I don't know what else it would be, but but people have said that there's this theory that we're now living in, a, that we're in an alternate universe, that this is the, 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 the clue, the major key <laughs> the major key. All right, all right. L let me get this straight. Bernstein Bears, whether you knew them or not, it's a character. It's a, it's a you know a group of books and TV series or something like that. Yeah. I read some of the books. I remember this. And they're saying that it used to be Bernstein and now it's Bernstein. Yes. So we've somehow jumped tracks from this reality or our past reality to now – the Bernstein reality, right? Um, alternate universe, alternate worlds. They, the the wood between the worlds. So there's like almost there's all these different theories. Like we could have like partly part of our world is different worlds. Not all of our world has changed. Maybe yeah. That, is that that maybe a whole different theory? I that mean, maybe I just made up. But here's <laughs> another thing though: Ber Berenstein or Berenstein. I actually always remembered it as burn, just B E R N, which is not correct. It's B E R E R N, B E R E and then Stein or Steen. Yes. So Stein. What about Stein? Maybe it was one of those things that, as a kid, uh, you no one really knew as a kid how to pronounce that, so you came up with your own way of pronouncing it. I don't know. I think it's honestly <laughs> probably just the fact that we don't remember things very good. Yeah. We we we. We think we know, like, you know, six of one, half dozen of the other. I'm constantly screwing that up when I'm not really thinking about it. And you, you think of that phrase, oh, six of one, half dozen the other. Like, <laughs> you know, you kind of just, like, go over it. I think it's maybe one of those things. Yeah. Just, uh, just our mind has a way of filling in gaps. That So when you see something, if you miss Part of it, your mind can just fill that in. Yeah. 
And, and, and I think your mind can do that with memories. Your mind can do that with a lot of things. And so they teach you when you're learning how to speed read to take everything in as a whole, like a, bit, like a sentence or w- groups of words together rather than reading each individual, individual. word. Because your mind works that way. It can handle that. Wow. Because for the most part, you're going to be correct. Yeah. But now and then, when it's something subjective like Bernstein or Stain, your mind doesn't necessarily know what's right. It's just going to go with what's more common. And right. what's more common is Stein. Yes. <sighs> so we're nowhere. We're we nowhere. May be in a, we may be... In an alternate universe. And that's our only clue so and it far. Maybe as simple as just false memories from our childhood and just not really having paid attention back then. And the fact that we don't have we don't have the uh, the digital sort of way of capturing things like we do now. Right. Where I mean you take a picture and that's it's gonna be that picture forever. Unless you're in Back to the Future. Unless you're in Back to the Future. <laughs> All right. So I think we solved this thing. Let us know in the comments what you think. Is yeah. it do you remember it as Bernstein or Bernstein? And what about this old burn or baron? Because I know I'm doing that a little wrong as well. There you go. Let us know. On to the next. I think we solved that caper. <laughs> <laughs>